Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions, and as you can see I'm going to watch episode 20 of A Certain Scientific Railgun today. So in this last episode we got to see this Midsummer Festival, and it was really nice to watch all of those moments with the girls and how they were having a great time together, and uh, at the end of the episode we even got to see this moment with uh, Misaka playing the violin, so that was uh, a really cool moment and really enjoyed uh, that song that she played and she also looked really pretty, so that was uh, a really good moment and really enjoyed uh, this episode overall. And uh, she even got to, to, to see Thomas, so that was a really big surprise to her and it's not something that she was uh, too happy about at the start, but then she felt happy uh, when she remembered what Toma uh, told her about how she looked really pretty. So yeah, it was really nice to see all of these characters, a lot of them uh, showed up for this festival. And uh, right now I really can't wait to see what's going to happen next. We are probably going to get uh, some more of these episodes, or at least I'm thinking that, because we already got uh, plenty of them uh, in, in the past, like these uh, past episodes have been mostly about these enjoyable times uh, between some of these characters and getting to know some of the um, ones who don't uh, appear that often a bit better, so that's also a really nice thing. Uh, but yeah, there's really no way for me to tell uh, what's going to happen in this next episode, but I really can't wait to find out about it. So with this, really hope you guys are ready and let's start it. Oh damn! Starting with a an earthquake. That Congo with the snake. Oh. Um. Okay, that is scary as hell. Well, yeah, about that. It is really creepy. What the? Well, Congo did. Did it only affect the? Uh... It wasn't just uh, Congo. He knows about it, so... Oh! Hmm... That's nice. Eddie! At least an easy name to remember. But I wonder if this episode is going to focus on Congo. Because of what happened before. That was really scary, like... Everything started moving and the dolls flying and stuff. I wonder what's going on. Probably someone else's power? I'm not sure. Also nice to see that uh, Wehari is going to have uh, a new roommate, so she can help out the other girl with his uh, judgement stuff. Kinda reminds me of how she was helped by Kuroko, now she's going to be the one helping Another person. Yeah, that's uh, special to her, of course.
Oh. Oh, she's right there. She's really adorable. Damn. It's a lot of stuff. Everything in place. Damn. If only we had this power in real life. That would make moving stuff so much easier. <laughs> so proud of herself. That's really helpful. Oh. Yeah, about that. <laughs> oh no. That was a bit mean to Saturn. Oh. Well, probably the only a thing for Uiharu. I also don't know, but Eri is showing up now and the earthquakes, I don't know if it's related, but we'll see. She's really adorable, that's for sure. That's so cute. Well, it's probably... Important. Oh. Poltergeist. Oh, damn. That explains what happened before. Yeah. Alright then, I'll have to pause that after and read all of that. Celestina? Hmm. Hmm. Explains it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, about that. Saturn is already at it. Oh no. Destruction of Academy City. That is not good. Yeah. <laughs> this Saturn. Probably some things we don't know about yet. Playing. She's getting really close to her. I play whack a mole. Yeah, that's the whole point of the game. <laughs> she doesn't want to eat them. She just likes fourth time already. It just really likes to see them popping out. Oh damn, that looks so nice. Yeah, me too. Oh damn, there's a glass there or... Hmm... To adjust, adjust. Hmm. Well, that's also part of it. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Well, that worked. Looks really nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, exactly. And Kuroko helped her. And not just uh, Kuroko, but a lot of her friends. It's really nice for you, Uiharu. Everything in order. Oh, <laughs> that was close. So they are already expecting her. They couldn't leave, so they had to resort to this. Yeah. I still need to figure out more about it. Really hard work. Really hope that nothing bad happens here related to this poltergeist thing. <laughs> that airy. And the frog that you love so much. Actually got it. <laughs> Oh, it's them. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Plenty of them. Oh. So wonder about Eri. You going to find? Oh, this is what I was actually thinking about before. If Eri is like um, 
Yoka, I think that was her name, right? In Index. Is Kuroko actually worried about Eri? Is it Konori? Yeah. Really important. Oh. It's happening. Oh, damn! That was nice to have that power in that moment. Damn! This is what I was afraid of before. Hopefully they saved him. Wait, what? Is that robot? Is that the other girl from before? Hey, it's her. From that organization. It was nice of her. Was this triggered by Eri? She's acting a bit weird, so... Hmm... Oh. Wait. Okay, this last moment. I don't know, but something is going on. We saw Arumi again, so she's out. And she was related to these uh, AIM diffusion fields as well. So I don't know. But then that smile. That um, Telestina or something she made at the end. I don't know, but that was really suspicious. Like she's up to something. And it's like uh, Eri is uh, being used for this. I'm not too sure, but it's it. It seems that Eri is looking for someone. She was grabbing the pendant. I don't know if that belonged to another person. My first idea was that Eri was, um, like, uh, I believe her name was Yoka, right? I hope I'm not uh, messing up. The girl from uh, Index who was like a ghost, not uh, exactly a human. She was like created because of these uh, diffusion fields as well. Kind of felt like Eri was in the same situation, but I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, things are becoming more serious, that's for sure. No more of those only for fun episodes. 
So yeah, that was a, a really nice episode. We got to see this new situation with the, the poltergeist and there's uh, some new, new definitions as well that I'm going to have to uh, remember and uh, understand better with uh, with like by, by watching these episodes, of course. And uh, there's also this scene with uh, a lot of text before when uh, Tetelesina was uh, talking. Uh, I also need to read that because it was uh, just a lot and uh, it didn't show uh, for a long time. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely really good to to watch this. I'm really curious about uh, uh, what exactly is uh, going on because it really feels like uh, someone is up to something and I am really suspicious of uh, Telesina right now. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to see more of this to be completely sure of um, what is going on. I'm also not sure of uh, how Congo is. We saw her at the start. And uh, like that whole thing was happening with the earthquake and then the dolls started to, like flying and stuff. Um, but uh, I don't know what exactly happened after that. She just screamed and uh, we didn't see uh, anything about her anymore during the episode. But uh, hopefully she is uh, okay, of course. Uh, but yeah, something that I'm going to have to discover by watching the next episodes, of course. Um, but yeah, it was uh, really nice to... To see this and to meet Ari, she is really adorable, but uh, I feel like there's a, and it's pretty obvious that there's something happening and uh, it involves her, uh, so I'm a bit worried as well. But I really enjoyed these moments uh, between all of these girls and how Weharu was so happy to uh, be the one helping someone right now, uh, like uh, literally uh, being. Just like uh, her friends were uh, towards her, so she's like, uh, it's it's really special to her, of course. So that was uh, just a really enjoyable moment. Uh, but yeah, really hope that they explain these things or like w what is happening in this uh, next episode and like just to make the situation more clear. And I really can't wait to, to see it. So with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one, so take care guys!